So hi, Michael. Hello. How's it going? Welcome to Electrosmith. Um, um, we're looking at your new uh, Daisy platform, right? Yes. Yeah. We are debuting the Daisy here at NAM 2020. It's an embedded platform for audio, similar to like an Arduino or a Teensy. However, we've designed it specifically for audio production. Uh, so what that entails is uh, the board itself has stereo in and out, 64 megabytes of RAM uh, on, on board. The bit rate is up to 32 bits uh, for the audio, a sample rate of 96K and 480 megahertz for the clock speed. So it's totally capable of DSP and uh, developing any sort of uh, electronic music uh, instruments or effects that you would want to make uh, through coding. There's a few different coding uh, platforms that we support right now. That includes C++ and Arduino. And you'll also be able to export pure data as well as Max uh, MSP through using the gen object in Max. Once you've uh, uh, built your program and are ready to test it, you'll also be able to flash the program in via USB to the DAISY and use one of our multiple development platforms to test your program. So the DAISY, the DAISY isn't actually the module here. It's, the, it's the, actually this, this platform, It's right? this right here. This is the DAISY itself. So this is the whole thing. It's not an addition to like an Arduino or a Raspberry Pi. It is entirely its own embedded platform. Uh, and you can slot it in. It, when, once you purchase the DAISY, it'll come with the headers. You can slot it into our test platforms or into a breadboard or into any other platform that you're using to develop your own products or a platform that you're using for educational purposes. Because you've got a couple of uh, different platforms. Right? We do, yes. You're looking at the DAISY patch right now. This is our Eurorack test platform for the DAISY. Uh, comes with multiple CV inputs and outputs as well as uh, parameters uh, for encoding as well as uh, a couple of buttons. We do have a, a plate on the front with uh, explanations for each of them. However, as a programmer, this is essentially a blank slate. You can program it to function how you want. Uh, the, the plate's there for educational purposes for people learning and to act as a guideline. Um, but so all of the ins and outs, can, uh, they just relate to all of the ins and outs on the actual board, right? Yes, yes, exactly, exactly. Um, and then we also have a couple of different platforms. This is our desktop synthesizer called the Daisy Field. Uh, you just slot in your Daisy right here. It has CV compatibility as well as MIDI and a one octave key bed on the bottom for testing uh, digital synthesizers or samplers, whatever you could be uh, coming up with in your code. We also have the Daisy pedal for working on guitar effects. Uh, slot it in right here. You can flash your program and have whichever reverb or delay effect you're working on uh, functional to test on this pedal as well. It's not quite a MIDI controller. It's more of just a platform for testing your code. Our smallest one here is the Daisy pod. Gives you the basic uh, stereo ins and outs as well as MIDI and a couple of parameters uh, for testing different functions in your code. Um, so you've actually got a, a, um, a patch running on this one, right? Yes, we uh, have a simple uh, VCO running. Uh, that's what we're calling it, uh, developed or programmed in C++ that we flashed onto the DAISY here. We can give it a quick listen right now as I turn up the, uh, the filter. It has a couple different waveforms. Right now the sine wave is going, as you can see on the oscilloscope. And then we have a triangle, sawtooth, and square wave. Very basic uh, program for demonstration purposes. However, you can do uh, a whole spectrum of DSP audio on the DAISY. Anything from building an entire instrument to building complex effects. It's all possible just on the DAISY itself. So, uh, so are you kind of hoping that, that a community will kind of build around this uh, platform and kind Part of develop for the platform, a community? Yes, uh, everything is going to be completely open source. Uh, we have all the APIs and resources available on a GitHub under Electrosmith. And people who work with the DAISY once we release it, We'll be able to post their code online to share in an open source community. People can collaborate, build on each other's code, use each other's programs and instruments to create awesome music and build even more awesome instruments and more awesome effects.
So will will you be uh, will you be uh, developing your uh, uh, programs yourself? We uh, so will. Electrosmith. Yeah, Electrosmith will also be putting up uh, programs for educational purposes on the GitHub as well. Uh, what you see here is a, a basic VCO that is already going to be up there as well as a state variable filter that we have coded th through C++. And we'll have uh, different pro uh, programs for examples and as references for all the different coding languages as well. Excellent. Michael, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, look for our Kickstarter in the next couple weeks uh, towards the end of January under Electrosmith, our website. It's uh, www.electro-smith.com. The DAISY itself is going to be MSRPing at $29.95 US dollars, so just under $30. And we will have solid MSRPs for our development platforms with the Kickstarter in a couple weeks. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you.